good morning. Today you join me on the middle level main drain at a section called Neeps Bridge. I'm going to be fishing the pole at 11 and a half metres. Um, it's fairly deep here so I'll be fishing into about 14 or 15 feet of water. Um, I'm going to start off by feeding balls of ground bait quite hard, get it down to the bottom, start the session and uh, see how it goes. If the fish come up in the water I'll use a lighter rig and I'll come up off the bottom slightly but I'm going to start off on the bottom try and nail them to the deck and see how we get on. In this video will be part one of a short series I'm going to make called Same Swim, Different Method where I'm going to actually explore fishing different methods and different lines on the same peg over the course of the next two or three visits. And today I'm going to start off on the pole and going forward I'm also going to fish the float including the slider and fixed waggler. Um, maybe a third of the way out to the middle and then I'm going to do one on the feeder which will be like three quarters of the way across so hopefully we'll have some more videos to follow this one which will just sort of show you different approaches to fishing the same peg anyway I'm going to get some bait in now Okay, that's the bait in. Got six balls in, and uh, we're going to fish over the top of that and see how we get on. Take it from there. Starting on double red maggot and catching a few smaller fish. I've been fishing like double castor or castor and maggot. The last two or three fish I've had have been a little bit better, but this one feels a bit better still. I don't know what it is. I'd like it to be a big skin, I thought. We'll see. It's a skimmer of hybrid, but a fair looked it, I think, in the pectoral thing. That's why it's been a bit, a bit awkward. Oh, 
looks like that fish, but like I say, I looked at certainly. Playing games, trying to get it in. Yeah, I've also changed my shot in as well. I started off with a bulk and three droppers. <coughs> But I've just changed that to a double bulk and uh, seems to be showing up bites that I weren't seeing. Getting quite a few bites. It's just lifting the lifting the second bulk up. It's four number eight, so it does actually lift the float up about an inch. And they pick it up. And I'm actually uh, probably seeing bites I didn't know I was getting earlier. Be nice if this is hooked in the mouth. Nice, nice to get this one in the net early. It's much, much better fish. It's a bream, but I'm not sure it's a big hybrid because I'm struggling to do a lot with it. Mouthful of air that'll sort you out. Whew, dear, dear. Do with the puller kit on the top five. <laughs> Few more of them please would be uh, oh happy but no uh, good start i mean fishing 35 minutes a few skimmers a couple of them have been nicer ones and then like i said i've just had that bream so uh things are looking up carries on like i think i might have tightened the elastic up a bit because i was sort of got it set quite slack for skimmers it's a six to eight elastic but it is set really slack so maybe uh a couple of turns on the winder might help and we'll catch a few more of them. We'll see, we'll go in again and see what happens before we'll make a decision on that. Anyway, it's looking up. It's going to get quiet. I must fish out with a perch, which is never a good sign. It's like a reasonable size skim or a small room. So fingers crossed we'll get it in.
That's good. Let's get that mouthful of air, they're yours. Let's see this. Not as big as the last one, but a nice chunk anyway. I reckon it's got a bit of, bit of roach in it the way that fought. Okay, let's have a quick update. Been fishing about an hour and 15 minutes now. Uh, started off six balls ground bait, cupped in. 11 and a half metres went straight over at full depth. Well, in actual fact, it was three inches over depth uh, with a two gram float uh, and double maggot on the hook. I caught several smallish skimmers, you know, that sort of size. <clears throat> and then I switched to sort of maggot and caster and double caster and I found a couple of better skimmers, a hybrid, and then had that uh, bream, which gave me a bit of a run around. Uh, and it went a bit quiet. I lost a big skimmer and it's sort of still a bit iffy. But another small bream, I'll call it a bream because the colour is really dark, so we'll call that a bream. And, uh, another small fish and I've just topped up, just put two more balls of ground bait in and I'm going to go back over the over the same area again and just stick with what I'm doing with the, uh, with the maggots and caster really on the hook. I've tried worm but all I've done is caught perch so I've sort of steering away from that at the minute. Um, might try a bit of sweet corn. I did try expander pellet for a couple of put-ins and did have bites but trouble is with that you strike into an expander pallet in 15 foot of water, you don't come you don't come back with any bait on the hook, so you have to rebait every time. So um, no, I'll stick with the maggot and caster, I think. Maybe have five minutes on a corn and see how it goes. But um, yeah, it's, it's good, it's good. It's not too not too hectic. But there's uh, there's some nice fish out there to be caught, so uh, we'll get about catching them, we'll catch you in a bit. Cheers. Right, just a quick catch up. Um, it's been very slow for the last hour. I mean, I've uh, topped up the swim a couple of times. It's brought a few fish back, but not a lot. Uh, so I need to have a think about what I'm going to do about it. Uh, but before that, yeah, we'll just talk about the bait. As I said earlier, predominantly just fishing maggot uh, or maggot and caster or pairs of casters on the hook. I've tried worm, had a perch, did have one better skimmer on the worm, but by and large. I'm doing better with the maggot and caster combination, which is pretty much how I remember it down here. I used to do sort of better fishing than bait combinations than anything else. I, had, I think I had one or two fish on sweet corn and a couple of bites on my um, on expander pellets. So they'll have, they'll have a go at anything really, but I think by by and large the uh, the maggot caster's the favourite. Anyway, as I said earlier, fishing over ground bait, and I started to swim off with six balls. And today the ground baits are uh, Evolve Baits Sweet Fish Meal Gold mixed 50-50 with uh, their Skimmer and F1 which is a green colour and I did add in about 10% of uh, brown crumb but that was also dyed green and that actually brings the colour up on the mix quite a lot lighter than what it would be else. A quick look at that so you can see that.
So yeah, it's quite a quite a bright it's quite a bright colour, but um, I quite like it. Anyway, I'm gonna have a think about what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna try one last top up. They're either going to come in a bit closer or go out a bit further. I don't know. But like I said, I'm going to put, probably put four balls in again at 11.5 metres and just see if it brings me any joy. So, come back to you in a bit and let you know how it went. After refeeding at 11 and a half metres, I went back out there. Basically, <laughs> I didn't get a bite. That was about 10 or 15 minutes, so I've just gone out to 13 metres and uh, just had that skimmer. So we'll go back out there again and see if they're just sitting back off the feed. No telling. back in at 13 metres and straight in again. There we go, sitting off the back of my feed. Perfect. Okay, have a quick look at the rig. It's going to be a bit awkward because it's on a top five kit, but I'm sure we can do it. Okay, this is the main rig I've been using. It's a Tubertini float. Don't ask me what the series because I can't remember for the love of me. It's two gram. The depth marker shot below it. It's on uh, 014 main line. Come down to an olivet, and then below that, I've got four number eight stops, but I've got them bunched, so it's acting as a double bulk. So a lot of the time, they're picking the picking the bait up, lifting the stops up, the floats just lifting up in the water, and uh, it's game on. 
actually had more bites that way than I have with a float going under. But I've spread the shot out and moved the olive out and you know changed things about throughout the session. But to be quite honest, I'm better off just sitting waiting on the deck with that. I ain't going to bother showing you the second rig because it's pretty much the same. It's just a slightly lighter float. It's exactly the same float. It's on exactly the same line. But that one's set to fish about three feet off the bottom, and I've got the uh, I've got the stots spread out on that, and the bulk a little bit higher up. So it was fishing through the last, you know, four or five feet of water on the drop, rather than this one that's just going straight down. But I haven't used it because, like I say, when I've spread this rig out. I've had nothing at all on the drop. Everything's been after it's well settled and on the deck. So that suggests that that's where they want it. As I said, they fished on top five kits because the the peg's fairly deep. Well, it's, it's deep all the way along here to be quite. Honest. Most of this length is between 14 and. 14 and 16 foot deep on the middle level uh, so there's a fair bit of water to go at um, elastics are midi 6 to 8 solid the other rig's got a Preston number 5 in it a bit lighter floats a bit lighter and fishing up in the water a bit so but no it's really quite simple I mean I've fished here in the past a lot lighter fish like a gram and a half on the deck with a four elastic and that's fine I mean it gets a bit fun when you get the bigger skimmers but uh, for the smaller things it's ideal Whereas this is just about okay I mean I've got the elastic set nice and light so I want to catch a small skimmer I can get some elastic come out but it sort of gave me a bit of a Bit of a job to get the bream out, but it's all about compromise, really. Well, that's it, session over. Give it the full five hours, which is quite something for me today. Fishing the pole with my back, so uh, I've done really well in that sense. Session started off really well, and kind of went downhill from there. Um, and I've struggled to keep fish coming throughout the five hours. Um, mainly fished at 11.5 metres. I've had some fish at 13, and I did come in and have some fish at nine. But most of my fish were at 11 and a half, and that's when, where all my ground bait went in. Uh, but definitely uh, it was interesting to move around the swim and just see if I could find fish sitting off the feed, which I did. Anyway, we'll have a quick look at the fish and uh, see how we've done. I think I've had better days on here. I'm almost certain I've had better days on here, but I've also had worse days on here. So it's been enjoyable. Uh, it's made a change to come back here because I haven't been here for a couple of three years. And uh, I'm looking forward to coming back and fishing the uh, feeder and the float from the same peg in the next week or two. So let's have a look at the fish and see how we've got on and we'll get this gear packed up. Well, I've got to admit, I had a bit more than I thought. I had 19 pound there, so uh, I'm quite happy with that. I thought I had about 14, so I'm quite happy with that. Had a few nice fish in amongst the uh, catch. You know, so we had skimmers from two ounces up to like four pound, or three up to four pound. Odd, odd roach or two, a few perch, and uh, that was about it. So no grumbling at all. So like I say, can't wait to get back so we can do on a, on a different method. Really looking forward to the to the float, the float job. So uh, 
just praying for good weather and get that slider out. Anyway, till next time, see ya, cheers.